Hello, Avon Lake. I am Principal Mike May, and I have the honor today of speaking with the Avon Lake High School Academic Challenge Team, who are the champions of the 53rd season of the Channel News 5 Nordson Sponsored Corporation Academic Challenge. Here today with us, we have Captain Dylan Missile, Madeline Wagner, and Michael Pilson. Here today, we have with us the trophy that they earned, and also behind us is uh, a very large check that the team earned as well through the academic challenge, as you will see. And what we're gonna do here today is just have a little conversation with them. We're gonna ask some team questions. We're gonna ask them some individual questions, and we're gonna get a little bit of the behind the scenes of what happens during academic challenge with them. So we're very excited for this accomplishment. First of all, congratulations to all of you. Very excited, thank you for the way you've represented Avon Lake High School. Uh, just wanna start off with a little bit of uh, just basics about academic challenge. So what was your favorite part of working and competing in academic challenge this year? Okay, so for me, it's always been like the adrenaline rush during the matches. I've always just enjoyed testing like my knowledge base, seeing how I can do against other people. And I like that level of competition. I think going off that in addition to, you know, competing with others, I like to learn from the experience too. I feel like I left each match knowing a few more things than I started out with. For me, it was also about competition and I thought it was really exciting that we would meet and play against the same teams that we played in the radio show or in the SWC championship. So we could take a range of those teams. Very good. Thank you. So. There's a lot that goes into this. I mean, there's such a wide variety of questions that can be uh, asked. Uh, you're on a time limit, you're under all this pressure. How do you prepare for getting on academic challenge, knowing that the lights, the cameras are there? How do you prepare for that pressure? Well, for me, it's that just I go through the topics that I know the most. I brush up the, all the material that I might be asked on the actual game. Like for instance, on the final, there was a question about uh, the capital of Zimbabwe, which I answered, and it's Harare, and the, exactly this day, I was going through all the African capitals, so it really helped me a lot. And there's like a set list of questions that they tend to ask a lot, and like a set of topics. It might be some present sequence, like, or some government related questions, and just whatever material I'm more comfortable com comfortable with, I brush it up and uh, in, if I'm lucky, it's going to be it's going to be. Very good. Would you like to add to that? I think you covered every other All right, that's yeah. excellent. <clears throat> so you you competed the first time, you're on TV, you win. Were, was it more nerve wracking the second time around or were you more comfortable going into that championship game? Personally, for me, I was more comfortable with it because the News 5 staff, they did a very good job the first game walking us all through the process, making us comfortable. And it's like, we had been there before. We had done it already. So it was like, we just had to do what we already did. So it was less nerve-wracking than the first time where we had no idea what to expect, really. I mean, we had watched episodes, of course, but that doesn't always prepare you for the real thing. Very good. Would anyone like to add to that? No, I think I covered it. Okay. So what was your reaction internally and externally when you realized we're in the championship round? I and my whole family are very excited. Um, I, it's just so rewarding to have gone through a whole season of the SWC matches and we were successful there, but it's a whole other level of success to have it recognized by your peers and your family and just to celebrate all of the learning you've gained from the whole season in a way like this. And on top of it, all of the great competition that you go against, you, you go up against public schools, you go up against private schools. There's just so many, so many good teams out there to compete against. So again, what an amazing accomplishment. So Dylan, I have a question for you. Okay. Um, do you feel any additional pressure being the captain of the team? Oh. I have every confidence. I fully trust our team, and I know that we're very good in a wide variety of topics, but it would have been, as the captain, I would have felt responsible if we hadn't done as well as we did. I felt like I would have really internalized that and taken it more to heart myself. 
Very good. Thank you for that leadership. Um, uh, Madeline, just a, a question for you specifically. Has it been hard to not tell friends and family what the outcome was of the championship round? Absolutely. Um, my parents were fortunate enough. They, um, they came to the filming of the finals, so they knew, and it was very, very hard for all of us not to give sneaky hints to our friends and other families. So yeah. it was exciting to actually, you know, get to share that eventually. That is great. And, uh, and Michael, I know you've been recognized um, a national competition for poetry. So that's kind of a personal accomplishment, if you will. So how does the feeling of winning this tournament and doing it with the team feel for you? Um, well, comparing to winning the national poetry contest, I felt like the time of challenge was much more uh, rewarding in some way and exciting because uh, it was a, a team accomplished, as you've mentioned, and I felt really good for my peers. I related to them a lot. And uh, when it was not that intriguing with the National Poetry Contest, because I expected to some extent to win there. And also, it was a really strange story how I actually realized that I won there, because basically I just got a text like on the Rewind app that I won there uh, on the day, like, uh, that my teachers already congratulated me on that, and I didn't even like know what they were talking about <laughs> yet. And uh, with the academic challenge, it was very intriguing because we had two games, and after the first one, uh, we were already very excited because, as far as I know, uh, our school didn't qualify for the finals for a lot of years, and we already uh, were doing such a good job, and winning was so unexpected and. It was very rewarding that we actually won. Very good. So I have one last question that I'd like each of you to answer. I would like you to tell me your favorite content area of the academic challenge that you handled here on your way to being champions and the most challenging content area that you all face moving on to being champions. So for me, my favorite topics and the topics I'd say I'm strongest in are probably like math, science, history, and geography a bit. And then my area that I'm not as great in is literature and like fine arts. Okay, very good. Um, my strongest topic is definitely literature. Um, I read a lot to study and it brings me a lot of joy to study for that. So that would be my strongest area. My weakest has always been the math and science category as well as some of the more specific, um, like regional authors. Like sometimes we've been asked, asked specifically about like a Chilean author. And if you haven't been exposed to that type of media, those are definitely more challenging questions. Thank you. Um, I think I'm more like proficient and comfortable with the geography, history type of questions. Maybe uh, everything like related to the world culture other than US, because I have a little different background. Um, for me, the most hard questions were related to some science topics, I would say, especially biology, where there are a lot of terms that in English that I'm not familiar with, and I just even might know them in my native language, but I don't know them in English, so um, that's it. Very good, thank you all. Uh, it's also very important that we thank the coaches, Mr. Smiley and Mr. Skierski, uh, they are with us here today. They are behind the scenes of this interview, but we do have to give them a huge shout out for all the time and dedication we put forth. Is there anyone that individually starting with Dylan you'd like to thank? I'd like to thank, of course, our coaches and then also my family for being there and coming to this and really experiencing it with me and so that they can share in the joy. I would also like to thank our coaches for all the time they put into helping us get to this amazing accomplishment, as well as the News 5 um, production crew and the host, Rob Powers. They did all that they could to make us feel the most comfortable and welcomed, and it was just, even though it was a competition, it was a very safe and friendly space to be in filming, so I'd like to thank them as well. Uh, I would like to thank just our coaches for doing such a good job and preparing us for the games and setting up all the practices. Uh, they've done a lot of work that is not seen behind the scenes, but it's very important. Very good. So Dylan, Madeline, Michael, I'd like to thank you all for sitting down doing this interview with me. 
It's very nice to showcase the win, uh, the victory for the 53rd season of the Academic Challenge. Congratulations to you all. All your hard work really amounted to a win, which is, which is really great for all of you. Looking forward to what the future holds. And to all of you out there in, in Avon Lake and anyone else who may be watching this through, uh, through a streaming service, we'd like to thank you all for being here today. Again, I'm Mike May, principal at Avon Lake High School, and everyone take care.